It's a big privilege and honor to be here tonight for this one-year commemoration of the massacre in Maguindanao. I, as UN Rapporteur, has played, paid enormous importance to the possibility of all peoples of the world to express themselves freely because all democracies have to be based on freedom of expression so the population can participate, can comment, can say what they want about public policies. But I also believe that freedom of the press plays a particular role in defending that democratic system. And every time a journalist is attacked, democracy is attacked. In my report to the General Assembly in October 26, just recently, a few weeks ago, I mentioned the importance of the protection of all journalists around the world, in any situation and in any country. And I also mentioned how there is an increase of violence against journalists around the world, including the Philippines. Philippines have now, according to the Committee of the Protection of Journalists, the first place in violence in the world. Mexico and Latin America had the fifth place in the world and the first in the Americas. And I believe this is very tragic because accompanied with the violence against journalists around the world in all the countries, we also notice that there's an element of impunity, a lack of diligence to investigate and punish those responsible. And I have always said that every case that remains in impunity is the invitation for many more cases to occur. Every journalist is a servant of the population because he or she is transferring information to the public. Every journalist deserves to be protected by the state. And every case of violence needs to be investigated and punished. This is my message to the world, to the victims of the massacre a year ago, and to the families and relatives of those victims. I express my concern, my solidarity, but also my determination as UN Rapporteur to continue monitoring events around the world. But every single massacre, every single violation is of concern and there is a right of all the peoples to raise their voice. I congratulate this demonstration, this meeting, this anniversary. Never, never stop doing it. I say that no one dies as long as they have someone to remember them. Congratulations, Philippines. Thank you.